in the last video we have learned that um, uh, rays parallel to the principal axis if this be the principal axis ray parallel to the principal axis will be uh, passing through the focus in case of convex mirror it will tend to pass through the focus if this be the reflected ray if we extend the reflected ray uh, um, uh, at the back it will be passing through the focus or if any ray tries to pass through the principal uh, focus will be uh, parallel to the principal axis after reflection but how to draw this curvature how to draw the parallel lines for parallel rays let us learn um, through concave mirror because in this video first we will learn how to obtain images formed by concave mirror because there are different positions and uh, uh, different nature of the images different for the for different positions of the object in case of convex mirror we will learn only one case and that will be sufficient let us learn concave mirror first if we understand concave mirror very uh, uh, clearly we can do anything with convex mirror we can draw any ray diagram with convex mirror so let us learn draw a line as principal axis use your compass draw a draw an arc with little longer radius of uh, radius of curvature if this be the arc to denote the mirror if this be a concave mirror then this side is coated in front of the mirror any object can be placed it might be a tree like this it might be a tree it might be a car i am trying to draw i am not a good artist no i am not it might be a car but whatever be the uh, object car or tree or man or goat or chair or table whatever many points are there from which rays will be incidenting on the mirror and will be reflecting from here also from human figure from any other object so ultimately the drawing will be clumsy and secondly and most importantly this will be complicated so to avoid all these first we will learn with the simplest object one straight line and we will take that straight line perpendicular to the principal axis now how to draw perpendicular you know at any point before that we will determine two other points that is focus and the center of curvature here i have drawn uh, a straight line as the principal axis the concave mirror this is the pole from the pole i have taken two uh, points at equal distances for the focus and the center of curvature i have chosen a point on the um, principal axis a at which i will be drawing um, uh, the object which is as i have told earlier perpendicular absolutely per absolutely perpendicular to the principal axis to draw the perpendicular here i have used the protector this can be drawn by uh, using the sheet square also this way but i have not drawn the entire length i have taken one smaller length smaller than the curvature now we have to draw as we have learned in the last video we have to draw a ray parallel to the principal axis how to draw the parallel line how to draw a line parallel to this line to do this i will draw another uh, perpendicular at any point on the principal axis since there are two points i will prefer this point little uh, away from a another perpendicular here by using protector we get this point through which the perpendicular will be, will be passing 
so we will not draw the entire length we will draw this much only because through this height you can see through this height the ray will be passing measure the height of the object by the ruler or the uh, compass I am using here the ruler since I am getting uh, one good mark that is uh, 1.6 1 centimeter 0.6 centimeter so measure 1.6 this is the point through which the ray will be passing and that will be parallel to the principal axis this is how we can draw the uh, ray parallel to the principal axis reflected ray is easy to draw just join these two points point, point of incidence and the focus because the line parallel to the ray parallel to the principal axis must be passing through the principal focus after reflection this is easy the next ray we will consider as we have uh, learned in the last video incident ray which is passing through the focus will be parallel to the principal axis now again to draw a parallel line to this line how here better drop a perpendicular from this point here use the set square by using the set square this way this line will be the perpendicular but I will not draw the line I need the foot of the perpendicular on the principal axis so just take a point here to complete the line there is the foot now you need only this length this length only try to measure this by the ruler this is uh, one centimeter one centimeter okay we will draw a, uh, draw another perpendicular uh, we, the length of which will be one centimeter I will uh, ch choose the center of curvature this time one perpendicular the length of which will be one centimeter by using the protector I am getting this point through which the line will be the perpendicular by using the ruler I could join these two lines but I, I don't need this entire length I need only one centimeter by using the ruler I am getting this uh, point if we join these two points the line is parallel to the previous line here the principal axis this is the reflected ray for this incident ray these two rays are intersecting at this point these two rays are coming both the rays are coming from the top so this is the image of the top b dash there is another ray which is passing through the foot of the object this ray is passing through the principal axis means this ray is passing through the center uh, radius of curvature means this ray is passing normally absolutely normally so it will be reflected through the same path so this reflected ray is bearing the image of the foot of the object if we drop a perpendicular from B dash to the principal axis the point of intersection will be the image of the foot let us drop a perpendicular by using set square that will be easier that will be easier I am not using the corner the corner uh, will make the line curve this is the foot of the object um, naming it as a dash a dash b dash is the object now foot and this is top so the arrowhead will be in the downward direction this is how we will go on drawing the images for objects at different places in front of the mirror in the next part of the video we will place the object in front of the mirror 
starting from very far from the mirror uh, we will take that uh, distance as infinity from infinity to um, very close to the mirror we will discuss six different cases six different positions of the object when we will uh, start um, uh, with the object which is very far and which is considerably larger than the mirror and uh, sometimes than our earth also like the sun like the jupiter any other planet any other star lights uh, are considered parallel but they are not parallel not necessarily parallel to the principal axis they might be inclined what will happen if the parallel beam inclined to the um, mirror let us learn we will consider only two rays one which is actually uh, inclined and uh, falling on the mirror another inclined but passing through the center of curvature we will consider these two rays only because many rays number of rays are coming how many rays we will consider we will here we will consider only these two rays these two rays among the parallel beam of light we have considered this ray will follow will uh, clearly show us the laws of reflection as we have learned in the last video by measuring the angle of incidence and by drawing the equal angle as the angle of reflection we may get this uh, uh, ray of reflection and since this ray incident ray is passing through the center of curvature it will be reflecting through the same path these two rays are intersecting at this point this will be the image point image whereas the object was too large and its uh, image is highly diminished see unlike the last video the point is not on the focus but if we draw a plane through the focus the point will lie on that plane if we could draw a plane through the focus this line would fall on that plane this is called focal plane except this case all other five cases can be drawn as we have learned little earlier now let us watch the next five cases along with this one there is all these six cases
here I am taking a break. My object now is at focus and uh, the image image is very large highly enlarged and uh, it may form um, at the infinity now what will happen if the object crosses f its size will even bigger and distance will be beyond the infinity or what beyond the infinity is it not sounding little absurd so let's see what happens if the object crosses focus and move towards the pole that is object is placed in between focus and the pole Now look at the interesting thing. Instead of getting the image in front of the mirror, we are getting it behind the mirror. That's why it is virtual and erect. And it is enlarged. It means its size is larger than the size of the object. But not so large as it happens in case of infinity. For this reason, concave mirror can be used for specific purposes where small objects are to be uh, seen in enlarged form where the object cannot be uh, seen directly we will read this particular use when we will read the uses of concave mirror now after learning uh, all six different cases where uh, the object is placed at six different positions we have learned where the image will form what will be its nature now let us recapitulate all these six different positions of the object and the corresponding images Now let's see what happens in case of convex mirror. In case of convex mirror as you can uh, see um, in this part of the video uh, that wherever be the object the image is always diminished uh, virtual that's why erect and most importantly between the focus and the pole between the focus and the pole always diminished and virtual that is erect also <laughs> 